The ABCs of Willie's favorite Atari 2600 games is brought to you in part by Arcade USA, the Atari 2600 game by game podcast, Ho Fat, Steve Beck, the letter U, the number 009 01, and viewers like you. Thank you. Hey guys, on this episode of Willie's ABCs of favorite 2600 games, we're going to be discussing the letter. You for up and down. Yes, I love this game in the arcade. I remember when I first saw it, it was so cool. I was a big fan of Rally X when it was out. I liked the car driving around in the maze, collecting the flags and stuff. So, this was another car game that allows you to drive around on a maze, but you had hills you had to climb and go down. You could actually jump from road to road if you wanted to. And you would, you would get the flags like you normally do, like in Rally X. But you could also could jump on the other cars as well, which made it a lot of fun to play. I played the Living Daylights out of this game in the arcade back in the, the mid-80s. I was really stoked to see that it got released for the 2600. So, let's take a look at what came in the box. And I'll discuss the game a little bit more while I play it. So here's the box for Up and Down. I love this artwork with the little happy Baja bug bouncing around. Just bounced off this little truck right here. Or car. That's cool. See on here, the number one hit in the arcades per play meter August 1st, 1984. The arcade conversion poll. Wow. As seen on TV, new! And this was bought at a Lionel store for 30 bucks originally. Pretty awesome. Nice side art, too. That's pretty awesome. And here's the back of the box. It shows the different gameplay screens. Not too bad looking, actually. Fun in the Fast Lane, the official home version of the Bally Midway Arcade winner. Multiple screeching screens of Baja Road Race excitement. High speed challenges for one player, full throttle color action animated graphics. Drive your Baja buggy over treacherous miles of deadly motocross track. Watch out! The course is crawling with opponents who want to make this the last race you run. Beware of the killer pickup trucks, boulders, and swarms of other motoring, motoring menaces. <laughs> That's pretty cool. So inside the box, of course, we have... We got our cartridge with the same artwork. Really nice. I like the Sega cartridges. They do a pretty good job on their artwork. Let's see what else we got here. Should have the instruction book. There we go. And here's a black and white instruction book. I would have loved that this would have been color, man. But back in the mid '80s, right before, right during the crash, they were doing really cheap things to try to to make money. So you know, one of the first things to go were the full color instruction books. Talks about using the controls, how to play. And this actually folds out. So it's not like a book manual. It's kind of like a pamphlet. So it's different screens, how the scoring. See on the back here, we have other games they make, which are really awesome games. Buck Rogers, Planet of the Zoom, Star Trek. Oh, I love that game. Congo Bongo, and not so much. Spy Hunter, yeah. And Tapper. Tapper is actually a lot of fun on the 2600. Pretty cool. All right. Now let's take a look at some gameplay. And I'll try to discuss the game a little bit more while I'm playing, while I'm playing it. Awesome. All right. Let's give old Up and Down a try. Jump! <laughs> oh, I missed the flag. No! Crap. Whoa! Ah, oh, I missed another flag. Whoa! Oh, man. Ah! Oh. There's one. Yes! Give me that flag! Oh, yeah! Crushed him. Oh, what the hell? Up the hill! Oh, oh, what's that? What? Oh! <laughs> Oops! Do -do 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 -do. 
This is actually a pretty good game. No, no. Whoa! Ow! Oops. I will crush you. over there. Ooh, shoot. Oh! Ah! Got me right dead. No! Ah! Jumped off the road. Oh, no, you don't. Oh, there's other flying. Oh! <laughs> it's a pretty cool game. I really like this game. It's a lot of fun. Such a fun little game on the 2600. They got the gameplay elements there. The graphics are kind of... But the gameplay was there. The only U game that I'm aware of, which I never played before until I did this research for the show, was Ultimate Chaos. I guess it's a game that uh, was put out by Telegames, and it's kind of like uh, uh, like the arcade game Targ. Uh, basically, you run around inside of a maze and you shoot other vehicles inside of this little grid-like maze. It's, it's actually a pretty fun game. It's not too bad. Uh, I'm not aware of any other games that begin with the letter U on the 2600 that was available back then. I checked on Atari Age and all they had listed was Up and Down and that Ultimate Chaos or whatever it was called. So anyway, thanks for watching!